What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Joe here on a Monday, down in the workshop, taking a little uh, coffee break here for, you know, mine and Briarville Rick's favorite Starbucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. And of course, you know, I drink my coffee black. And when I drink my coffee, I don't smoke a pipe. So I just enjoy savoring the moment here with my uh, with my coffee. Hmm. Been working today already. Been uh, working on a, a poker. This one's going to be a black stallion poker. And I'm working today on a uh, devil ants as well. Get it all shaped up. We're going to work on the stems and uh, get that all done here very shortly, hopefully today. Uh, thought I'd do a Yabo. This one a little bit different Yabo for me. Now, from time to time, I I do the beard thing. And I will say that, you know, my wife uh, sort of likes the beard. She likes it more when I leave it about right here. This is about the limit for her as far as the length of the beard. Uh, you know, there are times when I want to grow it a little longer. I grew it long a year ago, longer a year ago. For the uh, for the pipe show, the Music City Pipe Show, last year. Uh, this year I just had it just basically sh shorter like this, but it has been growing out a little bit more. And I have been watching with interest a lot of guys with the beards. Now the, these are guys with beards that are you know way down here, the Dagners and and so forth, uh, talking about the beard oil that uh, they use. That's not only good for the beard, but it's also good for your skin, conditioning the skin underneath it. And so I've been trying uh, some Dream Beard that I got from Split Beard, <laughs> the pipe maker's Split Beard. Uh, those guys uh, got it from them when I went up to Columbus, and uh, you know I can I think I can I can tell a difference really. I mean it's uh, it's softer and all that kind of stuff. It sounds weird for me to be talking about, but I'm. Anyway, but then Jason Dagner, not only does he have his new line of pipes coming out in November, but he also has a new beard oil. And the guys at the Portland Beard Company did one uh, for him, or with him. He uh, Dagner actually came up with the recipe formula, if you will. So uh, look what I got in the mail. Yep, from the Portland Beard Company. Some of the Dagner beard oil. So I'm gonna open it up here and we'll take a look and and see what this is all about. Okay, coming out of it first, got a nice little card here that I will put up here in the shop. That's pretty cool. Portland Beard Company. I like that. Very cool. The beard oil. Uh my shipping stuff here. Oh, and this is thanks for the box. Neat little pouch. This come, I can already smell it. That's what's interesting. I hope it hasn't broken in there. But open it up here and take a look. Here we go. Let's see. In the protective bubble. And here it is. The Portland Beard Company beard oil and you see the name right there Dagner and of course right here you see the tag that's on it the Dagner beard oil very cool okay take that off and let's see to get into it you know what one of the things I hate I, I hate this kind of there's nothing against Portland Beard Company because it, it happens with just about everything vitamins everything it's it's just because of the times in which we live that we have to put all this safety crap around everything. And normally I'm one of those guys who likes to keep my fingernails real short or that they're due to be cut right now. And sometimes I have a hard time getting into that stuff, so I have to get my wife to go, here, would you take your nails and get into this stuff? But anyway, I digress. Uh, the beard oil. Now this one is uh, says add a few drops to the palm of the hand and massage into the beard uh it's argan oil coconut oil spruce and other essential oils and yeah that's really all it says there so let's open it up 
First of all, I'm going to smell it. Mmm, 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 that smells good. Okay. Now, here's the way I like to do mine. When I've been doing mine, I take the, the dropper with some in there. Then I take my hand here. I should probably take my ring off, but I'll wash it. And I run the drops across my fingers like that. And what that does for me is allows me to kind of rub it into my fingers because I'm really not rubbing the palms on my face. I'm rubbing my fingers on my face. And then I take it and I rub it in like so until it kind of stands out like that. Mmm. Smells good. Now, usually I have a little comb or something that I brush back, back through after letting it kind of sit for a little bit. Is this a kind of a weird segment, isn't it? <laughs> for me, I feel like I'm on some cosmetic show, maybe on um, QVC. Bye. Order your bottle of Dagner Portland Beard Oil today. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now I've got oil over my hands, but it is, it's a good, uh, it's a good manly aroma. I think, uh, guys, I think your, your wives would love it. I asked uh, Jason, I said, is this stuff, you know, okay, I mean, I don't have the big long beard like some of you guys have, and what about us guys with the shorter beards? And he said, oh, it, it worked great. For it conditioning the beard and especially the uh, skin under the beard so there you go very good I like it thumbs up from me Jason and Portland beard oil company you guys uh, Portland beard company you guys have done really good there with the uh, with the Dagner selection so you guys can go out and go to the uh, Portland Beard Company, pick you up some Dagner Beard Oil. There, it's the, show you the bottle again. Portland Beard Company. Ask for the Dagner. And go to their uh, website. And I believe, let me look on the packing slip before. It is portlandbeardcompany.com. PortlandBeardCompany.com, where you can go and check that out. By the way, the uh, this bottle right here, which is uh, one fluid ounce, right here, was uh, twenty dollars. Not bad. The little one I, I've had from uh, Dream Beard was just one of those little bitty sample ones, and I got that back in. Oh my goodness. Was it July, August, whenever the Col the Columbus Pipe Show in Ohio was, and I've still been using it. There's still plenty left, and I do it just exactly like I showed you there, putting it across my fingers, and then uh, rubbing it together and rubbing it in. But there you go. That's it's kind of scraggly looking right now, but hey, coming along. All right. Well, that's my review, if you will, of the Dagner Beard Oil from a pipe maker. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy some more coffee. It smells good, by the way. The beard oil smells good. Yeah. God bless you all. Catch you next time.